Hi, I'm Josh from Zenata Consulting. This is a tutorial on how to create reports in Zoho Learn. If you find this video useful, please consider liking and subscribing below. Thank you and enjoy. So inside of reports, this tab up at the top, we do have access to a few different areas in here, uh, starting with my reports. My reports is going to show you anything that you've enrolled into and uh, maybe you've started it, maybe you haven't. So in this case, I've enrolled into two, uh, two courses. I haven't started either of them. Uh, they're both in progress and once they're completed, they would show up here. Uh, so this is my report. I can see this. I can go into each one of these and see what my completion is. So in this case, I've completed the first step here, but I, uh, or no, sorry, I didn't complete the uh, video, but I did complete the quiz. And then I have yet to start the week two items here. So as far as the my reports, pretty basic. It's just going to show you anything that you've worked on. If you are an admin, you're able to look at multiple learners. So if I wanted to see across the team, uh, we have 16 learners. What have what has everyone been up to? So uh, Brett hasn't enrolled into anything. He, he's uh, uh, kind of just a newbie inside of the Learn right now. Uh, but we have other users that are very active inside of Learn here. So uh, we have Lucas and a few others, JP. They've uh, enrolled into a few different courses and they have completed uh, a few items there. If I go back to other little cool things uh, to look at, average, uh, average process of completion, uh, six days, average time spent on a course, a few little metrics there. One of the nicer reports that I like to look at are either the individual learner report or the individual course report, because this is where you can really nail down. Starting with the learner, it's going to ask you to select the learner first. You can either select it here or you can click this drop down here. I'm just going to pick on Hunter. Hunter's been uh, one of our devs on the team and he's done a lot inside of Learn. And this uh, certification quiz here, he has completed that. So I can see uh, when he uh, it was enrolled, what day he actually started on the course. So it looks like he started the same day he enrolled. And he took him five days, uh, four hours, 20 minutes, and 11 seconds. That's very precise, but that's, uh, that's what you get there. Uh, he's completed 100%, uh, but it still says it's in progress. So he actually hasn't received his certification yet. Uh, but if we look at it, inside of this course, he, there's, a, there's a few different quizzes. So he's completed the quiz within the course, but the course is still open. We might uh, add another quiz at a later time and that's why he uh, the course technically is still open what even though he has completed the quiz so this quiz it took him 45 minutes 100 percent complete and within here we can actually dive in a little bit deeper into all of these answers so i can see there were 50 questions there's a 40 uh 40 uh, scored correctly and out of 50. so that is a passing score in our in our cases it took an hour and 30 minutes and I can nail down uh, exactly what were some of those uh, tricky questions or one of those that he didn't get correct. So it's a really nice uh, place to look and dive into individual learners. You're also able to see a few other things up at the top here. So the pass, of course, uh, 46 correct. Oh, looks, looks like this is showing me different information here. So this is the individual learner and then, oh, these are generic information. So to get a passing score, this is 40 out of 50. You have to get at least 40 out of 50 correct, which Hunter got 46 correct. So that's a pass. And then uh, he was allowed five attempts, but I believe he only took two attempts. So you can see one attempt here and second attempt uh, is what we're looking at. So if I look at the first attempt, I'm guessing, yeah, so 40, he only had 40 and there are a few more questions that he did not get correct. But at his second attempt, he was able to improve that score to a 92%. And it only took him seven minutes uh, on this second one. But on the first one, you can see it took a little bit longer. So uh, they are, in this case, able to attempt it five different times. And this is how we can report on that for an individual. If I go into, uh, so that was the individual learner report. If I go into the individual course report, that's going to dive in specifically on a particular course. And one course we have uh, that we use uh, quite a lot is the certification quizzes. 
And I, in the future, we're going to have more quizzes to list here. But right now, we just have one CRM certification quiz. I can see there's 11 learners, two are yet to start, and we have nine in progress. That's at the course level. If I go into the quiz itself, now I can see there, again, 11 learners, uh, two yet to start, two in progress, and seven completed. There were four passes, three fails, and we can look at these stats here and see their scores, how many attempts have happened, and then uh, time spent. So this is all great information as a course leader or a teacher. Uh, this is really good for you to look at and maybe follow up on any one of these uh, uh, learners. And then, of course, it also gives you insight on maybe ways you could improve the course, add additional resources uh, to maybe uh, build up their uh, skill sets. And then this is where you, of course, look at it. We have a learner lesson tab, and then we also have a learner tab within the course. And this just shows you everything at a very high level. So if I had multiple course, multiple quizzes within this one course, then I would be able to report on all of those at this tab here. At the top of the screen, we do have some just generic information. Again, so 58% average response, 14-day uh, average time spent within the course. And that is that. If we go back into reports, I did skip over this one. If I just click on it, multiple course reports. This is going to show you uh, overall, over all of your courses that you have, uh, what, is, what are the stats over everything. So I can look at uh, Zoho Creator. Here's a course that we have seven learners and uh, one in progress, six yet to start. We haven't had anyone complete any of these yet, and that's more by design on our end uh, because we are going to continue adding course quizzes to these courses. Uh, so they're not ever, right now they're not completed um, just because the course has not been fully defined. Once it's fully defined, then we'll allow our employees to go all the way to the end and get that certification. Um, and then you can see here's five published, five unpublished courses up at the top. Let me click back into reports. The last one here is this knowledge analytics. This is a really high level uh, report to show any new articles created, any article edits over the last, uh, looks like seven days, but we can filter that to say maybe this year. Uh, so we can see uh, quite, a, uh, quite a lot going on in, in April as far as new articles created in, inside of our uh, hub. We have a few edits and this is essentially how you report on these high levels. So we have edits, comments, uh, user activity comments, edits and new articles. These are not clickable, so it does allow you to hover over these, but unfortunately you can't click on them to dive in, but you do get the option to see at a high level what those values are. So that is essentially all the reports. And then of course the scores, that's all controlled by the uh, courses that you set up. So based on the correct or wrong answer, that's all going to feed into these reports at the end. Ultimately, you're going to end up with uh, a bunch of reports that's going to show completions across the board and then hopefully get some of those uh, certification badges out to your employees. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell, which notifies you when we post our videos in the future. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave those in the comments below. We really appreciate that as it helps us get better. See you in our next video.